At the ANU's Bush campus in Canberra, anxiety is brewing. One in eight staff members is facing the prospect of being made redundant as the university confronts a $200 million deficit. A learning and teaching manager, Will called Sam, was told his job was on the line via an online town hall meeting. This of course has implications for all at the university. He's too scared to be identified in case it risks his future employment. We just felt absolutely devastated. We've put effort into long-term strategies and to see years of work for some people just get kind of thrown aside, it feels shocking. Town halls are meant to give staff the chance to ask questions, but Sam says many were ignored or even deleted from the online chat. The university had offered two weeks of consultation before their proposal became reality. But Sam told me he didn't think the university listened to any of the feedback from his team. He said it felt like the ANU was just paying lip service to the process. Over at the University of Canberra, the new ACT government has committed to a governance review to probe how the uni fell into a $36 million financial black hole. Staff have now been told more than 200 positions will be cut before Christmas. It feels like decisions have already been made. So even though we have an opportunity to be consulted, I don't know how empowered we feel about those consultations. This is genuine consultation. So I'm sorry to hear if some staff apparently feel intimidated, but that's definitely not the purpose of this exercise. This is about removing positions. It's not about targeting particular people. It's interesting because I think Staff are concerned about a shrinking cohort of professional support. They cut staff, but the workload doesn't get any less. We have to make changes because the sector's changing, funding's changing, and no organisation can stand still and ignore the outside world. It's really clear that the ANU and uh, the University of Canberra are not alone and we're going to see far more um, staff savings. So far, seven universities have announced significant restructures that could amount to more than 1,200 jobs lost. The underlying issues are a change to the funding for domestic undergraduate students. And now the looming prospect of caps on high paying international students. You take that out of the economy, that has a significant impact, particularly for our small business, our tourism sector, because families come and visit. So the, the knock on effect is significant. Which could spell trouble in the ACT, where international education is one of the most lucrative exports, worth more than a billion dollars a year. The ANU seems to be pulling every lever to try and tighten its belt. It's just put this prime block of land here in Western on the market. But the university says it has no plans to offload other assets like this car park in Canberra's city centre. It was purchased for nearly $17 million last year for the College of Health and Medicine, which has now been disestablished. Well, although these are difficult and painful cuts, they are not reducing the overall contribution that both institutions make to Canberra. Testing times for the knowledge capital of the country. Jade Toomey, ABC News, Canberra.